Welcome back to Wholesale Automatics. Uh, today we're going to fit a cooler to the Prado 150. This particular one has the AC60 uh, transmission in it. Got a few things to do, so let's get into it. Okay, first thing we do is uh, pull off this top uh, radiator shroud here um, by removing these clips. There's different odd ones here, obviously, that people have lost them before. The original ones are these ones here. They're real, they're, I love these clips. Push it in. And when you reinstall them, just push that out like that. So it's just like that. Put it back in the hole and push it down flush again. Now we remove this one here. This one there, this one there, this one there, this one there. Take this whole bracket off just to make it easy to get our um, core in. Okay, next thing we do, now that we've got access here, we'll remove the horns. Uh, this bolt down here for the red support, center beam. Okay, now that we've got the horns off and that bolt out of the uh, centre beam for the red support, uh, we'll go up in the air and pull some bash plates off so we've got access from underneath. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry. Cheers. We're coming back down now we've got the bash plates off. Start plumbing up the, the cooler itself. Okay, now we'll start putting our hose on the uh, cooler itself. The hose we use is quite a heavy wall and sometimes it can be tough to get, get it on. So just a little bit of Vaseline or rubber grease just to help you get on. Okay, let's take it over to the vehicle. Okay, with the um, Proto 150s, every now and then we get a uh, AC pipe that gets in our way. Uh, not totally in the way, but uh, usually we're free and clear down the bottom. I'll show you what I mean. If you have a look down here, we've got this big one in our way here. It's not normally there, it's normally further over, but anyway, no big deal. What you gotta do is uh, route the hose from the from the uh, left hand side of the, uh, the cooler and bring the hose up opposite side of that of that um, AC pipe and re-plumb it back up, sit it back down, you're all good. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that those loosely in, go up near here and do the bottom. fitted the M6s into the lower two bolts, uh, bolt holes, uh, replacing one bolt. And this one doesn't normally have a bolt in it, although sometimes with some some vehicles they have an extra shroud, so you take the bolt out and reuse it. But anyway, we'll, we'll just, we've already got the top bolts in, so we can nip these up, tighten them up, and then go back down and tighten up the, the top two. You may have noticed that um, sometimes I'm using a, um, a, a rattle gun or electric powered rattle gun if you like. 
sometimes I'm using by hand. Now on the bottom two here, I, I'd like to do them up by hand because they're only a very shallow nut cert in these. And using a rattle gun, if you, it's very easy to strip them out. So I just do it by hand. Only takes two seconds more. Okay, now we'll go back down and we'll tighten up the top ones and put the shroud back on. As far as the top goes, we're done. Okay, now we can go ahead and just uh, reinstall the, um, the retaining uh, screws for the uh, grill. Okay, uh, next stage is that, uh, well, plumbing up the uh, hose. One, one of the hoses from the cooler goes to this top one here, one that goes into the radiator. You follow that down, and uh, the other one goes into the other end of this. Okay, now we've got that... Um, obtaining clip off. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to take the uh, intercooler pipe off, uh, the large ru uh, rubber one, um, to gain access to the bottom part of the, uh, the cooler line that we have to break into. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, to, remove, to remove the hose that we need to um, plumb our cool line into, that hose go, uh, goes halfway down, then it goes to another steel joiner, and then a hose back further down and back to the um, transmission. We've got to unbolt that, uh, that center steel tube, get it, uh, get it out of there so we can run our line up successfully without rubbing up against things. So I'll go ahead and do that, it's a bit tight tedious but take your time get it done not a problem okay that's the bolt off we'll uh, go back up in the air um, pull the other end of the hose off let it drain out and we'll come back down and uh, take this one off here so we can get the pipe out you'll see more once the pipes out what i'm talking about Look at that oil. This guy needs a service. We might have to do that for him, I think. Okay. Now we'll go back down and disconnect the top part of it. Okay, now we can disconnect the hose off the uh, top part of the radiator and pull that hose out. That's the one that we had to unbolt there before. That can be discarded. Okay, now that we've got that hose out, we'll go back up in the air. We'll route our hose um, uh, through in between the uh, red support, uh, link up the uh, bottom part of the hose, trim it, and then bring it back up here and hook it up here, up the top. And then, of course, refit our intercooler pipe. So we'll do that and we'll go up. Okay, we're gonna go in through here, so we'll trim a bit of this foam away.
Okay, well, with the uh, cable ties we provide, just secure the uh, O's so it and flop around and get caught on things. Uh, it does have a bash plate, but um, sticks and stones can still get in there if they're flopping around. Better yeah. just secure it. Okay, I've just trimmed it off. Trip one end of it, and I'm fitting up the hose at the bottom. Okay, we've got the hose up here. We'll just trim that down, put it on, clamp it up, and that's plumbing done. That's on. And the retaining clip. Okay, we'll put our intercooler pipe back on. Okay, that's done. We put our shroud back on now. Okay, we're all plumbed up now. Fit this back up. Good. Then we can go back up in the air and top the uh, fluid up. And then we are done. Trousers back on, we can shut the bonnet, go up in the air, top up the fluid, and we're done. Okay, the last thing we do is the filling process, uh, which is pretty easy. Um, uh, this uh, The AC, uh, AC60s also have a check plug here um, for the level. Our filler is actually up there, which is a torx bit plug, which points down. They can be a pig to get to. The easier way to do it is using a 24 mil spanner or socket if you like, and undo this plug here. And it's nice and easy to get a hose in there and fill it up through there. Okay, now we'll go up and start the car. Can you park?
Okay, that's it for the fitting of the cooler for the uh, Prado 150. Hope that was informative for you. Um, you may have noticed we didn't fit the bash plates. That's because we're going to do a service and a flush on it. You probably notice the oil is pretty filthy. But uh, we'll get, still give it a run and make sure all the lines are sealed up and not leaking. And remember, you do this yourself. You've got bragging rights around the campfire. Till next time.